Welcome back, everyone. The time is now 626. Senator Steve Daines is back here on Montana this morning, wrapping up the final day of the energy conference here in Billings. It's been a past uh, busy past couple of days for you. We've had a great turnout, a lot of energy at the energy conference. We've had over 600 in attendance. We've mm -hmm. had national leaders here in the energy business talking about the future of Montana and so many Montana leaders as well. We've got union leaders, tribal leaders, mm -hmm. really talking about the jobs and the impact and the positive outlook for Montana energy. Right, and I was just taking a peek at the agenda. I mean, there's such a wide range of topics. Looking at today, you're hitting on renewable energy and then also, I guess, keeping up that hope when things are looking kind of tough here in Montana too. So a good range of topics there. Well, it's important we have a balance. You know, Montana has a balanced energy portfolio. Uh, most of electricity produced in Montana comes from coal. We also have a very strong renewable uh, portfolio and opportunities in more hydro and more wind. But we're going to have speakers today. Uh Ryan Lance from ConocoPhillips, right. CEO of ConocoPhillips will be here. He's mm -hmm. also a great Falls native mm -hmm. and Montana a graduate of Montana <laughs> Tech, exactly. Yeah. So we've got some good Montana DNA. He mm -hmm. understands Montana. We'll be looking forward to his perspective. Okay, perfect. And um, I guess, th is anybody walking away from this conference, um, you know, the people who went there to speak themselves, are people just learning a whole bunch of new information that they're yeah. kind of surprised to learn this time around? Well, boy, there was some great content yesterday, some real experts in understanding where we are today, where we need to go in the future. And looking at the threats coming right now from Washington, D.C., probably the greatest threat to Montana are these regulations coming out of President Obama's administration. And he really wants to kill these coal jobs. That's 7,000 jobs here in Montana. Mm -hmm. And the focus was how do we solve these problems? How do we look towards clean coal technology so we can mm -hmm. keep that balance? We all want a clean environment, clean air, and clean water. Right. We want affordable, reliable energy and the jobs it creates, the tax revenues to mm -hmm. support our schools and our teachers. We can find that balance here in Montana. The best solutions come from Montana, not mm -hmm. from Washington, D.C. Right, and, and that is a hard balance to hit on. I mean, so many people rely on those jobs and that income, so it's just a matter of um, discussions and having that transition to, to eventually get to the clean energy, maybe, but then you don't want th that many people out of jobs here in Montana. We that just can. wouldn't be good. It, it's a very solvable problem, and I, we just are going to be fighting to make sure that Washington, D.C. regulators and bureaucrats listen to Montanans. We need mm -hmm. to take this fight back to Washington, D.C. We have solutions to these challenges to save these jobs to save Montana energy, to save these tax revenues, to save our schools and our teachers. Otherwise, it gets very challenging here. As we know, our wages in Montana are not very high. These energy jobs are good high wages, oftentimes two to three times our mm -hmm. state average. Yep, good living for uh, Montanans. It here. is very important, yeah. Okay, well, Senator Daines, thank you so much for joining us this morning and getting us all updated on the, on the conference. I know we heard from you last week, so uh, busy man you've been here oh, in it's, Montana. It's been great. <laughs> great to see all the folks turning out today here in Billings. Great, great. All right, we'll be right back after.